Qigong, at the very beginning, it focused on healing, how to heal the body. Drop your shoulders, let go with your stomach, let go with your spine, but keep your spine relaxed and straight, and focus on your knees. Qi is energy, but actually, in the concept of qi, in the Chinese philosophy, qi is way, way beyond energy it can describe. This qi is the power, the life force within. It carries the origin of the information of your life. When you activate this qi inside you, this qi has the intelligence to help you to fix any damaged systems, any damaged tissues, and any damaged cells. It has that power. This is the power of this qi. For instance, as the Choi Ho, this was my first uh, miracle uh, healing uh, documented in Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. She was diagnosed with a rare lung disease. The lungs just filled up with the scar tissues. Mayo Clinic doctors wanted her to have lung transplant, but he did not, she did not want to because in her mind, Anyway, she was going to die. She did not want somebody else's lungs breathe in her body. And uh, that was the first thought she had. You know, then she said, you know, anyway, I'm, I, was, I was not going to live for that long. She had been on oxygen for six and a half years, 24 hours a day. So she came to the class. She practiced the Qigong. I taught and I did Qigong healing on her too at the same time during the class. Eight weeks Qigong practice, one hour a day. She went back to the Mayo Clinic, all the lung scar tissues disappeared. She had completely new lungs. How could this happen? Because they activated the Qi, the intelligence in the body, helping the body to restore back to its original information of the life. The purpose of Qigong is to help you to activate the intelligence in the body, to heal, to live a long life. So this is the main, I mean, original purpose of Qigong. This is slow movements. Repeated slow movements can help the body to generate energy. And then gradually, when the energy flows, it helps to open up energy blockages in the energy channels. Then the body heals. So, you know, at this moment, I want you to stand up. Let's do a couple of Qigong movements, uh, one Qigong movement, right? So I want you to bounce your body. <clears throat> Drop your shoulders. Let go with your stomach. Let go with your spine, but keep your spine relaxed and straight and focus on your knees and then bounce like this. This movement looks like, right? It's very simple. Everybody can do it. You don't have to become an expert to do this movement. And you can do it any place you want. But by bouncing like this, like a 10 minutes, you know what has, what's going to happen? It helps you. Now continue to bounce. It helps you to balance your body's magnetic field in alignment with the magnetic field of the clan, of the ground, the earth, and the nature. That's number one. From the bigger picture, that's the energy you get. Number two, by bouncing like that, it helps you. You see, when you bounce, your, your spine is just like this, right? It helps you gently pumping the energy from, from your spine up to the top of the head and make the circulation naturally. This will be very good for your limb system, for your nerve system, for your immune system, for your digestive system. And put the energy system which have been out of all in your internal organs back to the right place. This is it. Now, have your hands up. Continue to bounce. Let go with your wrist, like what I do. When you bounce like this, 
you help to create force from the hand going down to the body to cleanse the channels open. Any energy blockages with the lungs, with the reproductive organs especially, this is a very good movement. And I have many students, some advanced students here, and you can talk to her, up, talk to them up to our session. All right, now put, put the hands down. All right, now we start doing one movement. It's called moving of yin and yang. Everybody, please hold your hands like this. Fingers slightly open, like you're holding a ball, right? With that kind of a posture, all right? And slowly, now you start to move in your hands. The right hand moves out and down, left hand moves in and up. Move slowly, gently up to the forehead, down to the bladder level, and then rotate your hands in a circular way. Do it slowly, right, in a circular way. The left hand moves up, and the right hand moves out and down, then Left hand moves out and down, and right hand moves in and out. And you have your hands move close to your body like that. And you repeat this movement with the knees bent a little. That's even better. Slowly, just move your hands like that. By moving your hands like this, it can help to open up channels in the height especially this movement has great effect for healing cancer. Why so? Well, if this movement can help to open up the blockages for healing with the cancer, how about other energy blockages? Of course, they're much simpler than the energy blockages of cancer in most people's mind. And you, you move this movement for five minutes, 10 minutes. If you have time, do it for half an hour. Just do this one movement. That will help you to open up channels. All right, now slowly put your hands down, facing your belly button. For men, left hand inside. For women, right hand inside. And you take a deep breath. All right, so rub your hands and massage your face. 